Hey everyone, we're doing an all cards and set two video. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, these are all the cards. This is this list might change a little if um, I need to fix some artworks or change anything if it's too broken or something. But this is pretty much the basic set one or set two profile. I'm gonna be going quick on each card, not gonna be going into depth on any of them really. Um, just so you guys can see all the artworks and stuff. So you know what's in the set. So we got Pit of No Return. Decent card, Mech Smith, kind of like Will Smith. Um, I thought this was kind of just a funny card. It's actually pretty good, though. Underworld Bridge. This is the only card that can bring back a card from your underworld to your hand. Cosmic Eye. Um, this is one my friend drew. Just absolutely love it. I did a cool background on it to make it like pop more. Um, Soul Collector. This is one of the artworks I'm going to redo because it looks a little foggy. So yeah. Unknown Priest. This is one of the Design a Card Contest winners. Super cool card. Really glad he's expanding on the unknown archetype. Feline Horror. This is actually a pretty competitive card with my friends. Um, we use it quite a bit, so yeah, definitely a good card. And it's done by a fan. Slate Serpent. This is good for serpent decks, not used too much otherwise. And it basically just looks like Spike Serpent, but a little different. Crystal Demons. Uh, one of the most OP cards in the set. I'm actually, I actually had to ban this card to only one copy per deck. I will come up with a ban list soon, but this is um, just, you know, um, that is the only, pretty much the only card that is banned. Um, I haven't banned any card, like, fully, mainly just, like, limited them to one copy per deck. Chubby Spear Guy, just a filler card. Deep Watcher, uh, it's a 2-6. Um, it's a pretty good card. It has no ability, so it'll work with those no ability decks. So, good card. Hocus Mex 3, this is a really good um, card you can cycle a lot. Sand Ghost. Teristo, he's like a toaster, kind of. <laughs> Bounty Hunter, this is a card that creates a 1-1 one, one token. Tin Mech. There's a, quite a few mech cards in this set. Furnace Dragon, um, it has two pretty good abilities. I think it's a little too expensive, though. Dino Con, this is the other card that I have to limit to one per deck because it's so good. Me and my friend were playtesting it, um, I think, a few weeks back when set 2 first like got out, and this card is proven to be really good, so... I might have to ban it to one copy of the deck. Old Rock Golem. It's one of the leaders in the set. If you can't tell what a leader is, they have like this highlighted like colored text. And set two, of course, is the color blue. Um, because rhymes set two color blue. Um, but yeah, this is a great card. Six six and its ability is good. If you pair it with rock cards, Kilo, decent card. Zenham, um, I like it because it's really good late game, kind of okay um, started game. Unknown Valkyrie for the Unknown Archetype. Knight of Gondo. Nito Serpent, a really, really, really good card that you can use in any deck. Wicker Wizard. This is another one I need to change the artwork because it looks a little foggy, but this is one my mom drew. Benguini Samurai. Um, I thought this was a pretty cool card. I actually really like it. Even though it doesn't have ability, there's a lot of no ability card creatures in this set because no ability decks are becoming a really big thing. So. Devil Knight Plant 2. Toten Fortress to go on with Toten Archetype. The Arc Ghost um, to pair with the Arc Mage. Demon Serpent, another artwork I'm changing. Lost Hocus Mech. I really love the artwork on this card. I think it looks cool. Spider Boy, really good card. Gondo Serpent. Set 2 is, it has a lot of archetype cards. Cards from archetype. So it's like you have set 1, which is the base set. Really good cards. Then you have set 2 to expand on those cards and make really powerful decks. Set 3 is one of the most OP or not the most OP, but most fun to use uh, archetypes in the game. So I'll have to show you guys that um, soon. Lone Tower, really strong card. Tiki Warrior, never used. <laughs> um, it, is, it is a no ability card, but I haven't play tested this. The Tank, very good card. It's 10 health, highest in the game. Flowbane, pretty good card. Um, but you have to get some attachments on it to make it good. Echadrath, it's a decent card. Um, Nothing to say, it's just a no ability. Toten Brute. Now you guys can actually build a strong Toten deck. There's quite a few token cards in the game now, and set 3 also has some. So there's also some hybrid cards in set 3 like that use different archetypes. Oops, sorry. Destroyer Mech, pretty good card. Forest Walker can be paired with a Serpent or Spider decks. Screaming Hammer, pretty good card. I think it's a little too expensive, but still good. Arctic Horror. This is actually an artwork I drew when I first started drawing in my old, old, old game, and I thought that this was, was the only one that actually looked decent, so I put it in my game. 
Gondo Bull, Thunder Squid, very good card in the set. Probably one of the best creatures. Hocus Mech King, this is the second leader um, and last one in the set. It's a crazy good card. You guys should definitely put it, even if you don't have a Hocus Mech deck. Sap Spider, one my friend designed and I drew. Super good card. It's proven to be, like, very strong. And really annoying because it takes two of your opponent's uh, life from a creature. Mysterious Egg, uh, pretty funny card. Alamoth Mech. Spidorial Bot, it's a PCG character. Lucky Dice Guy, this actually isn't in set two. This is in the deck kit I just put in here for some reason. But that's a promo card for the deck kit, which will come out soon. Lattisher, this is the other promo card. Amethyst Golem by Sinister Productions. He did a really good job on the artwork. Haunted Axe. I actually really like this card. That's why I made the background pop. Hocus Mex 2. Also love this card. This is a great card with the Hocus Mech archetype and just any like general decks. I try to make cards not just archetype specific. Like You can use them in any deck, um, but they might be a little better in um, those other decks. Magic Bolt. It's basically a counter to any of those like annoying cards out there, but it is really expensive. Mon Monster Summoner. Uh, gives you an extra creature slot, so that'll be good for like the Devil Knight plant uh, type card and stuff like that. Chest of Wonders, the most OP music card in the game. If you can't tell it's a music card, this little blue box um, says that, but super good. I might actually have to fully ban this card because it's so good, or limit it. Um, Deathly Shield, um, attached creature gains 2 life, and Deathly Sice, the attached creature gains 2 damage. Neo H Hammer, <laughs> definitely gotta fix this artwork, but it is a pretty good card. Gondo Clay, really interesting ability how it can turn into any train card currently in play, but it is, I think it should be a little cheaper because that is rare that you do get that. War Torn Wall, very good. It's basically like Bull, War, Bull Warder and Chaos Galaxy if you know what that card is. Dark Hour, um, it's pretty good. Um, very annoying if you're facing um, archetypes, specific decks, so this is a really good card. S Summon of Death, um, very good train card. I don't like how it loses your points, though, but otherwise it's good. Great Discovery. Hocus Mech Clockbot, one of my favorite artworks in the set. Um, probably not as good as Hocus Mech's 2, but still great artwork. Hocus Mech Staff. Mountain Range, just a classic card. Last Wish, which I believe I already shown, so that card I have to delete. There's two of them. Uh, Hocus Mech Key. Rocket Pack. Creature Swap. Dark Knight Sword, pretty good. Mace of Tears and Summoning Helmet. These these three all kind of look like Gondo Force. Really like this card. It's good for the no ability decks. Meatball Strike. When I first made this card in my game Epic Wars CCG, people said, oh, that this uh, Meteor Strike looks like a bunch of meatballs. So I changed it to that. Radioactive Dynamite. I think this artwork's kind of crazy. Um, I did like a weird filter on it. Now I'm kind of regretting it. So I might have to redo the artwork. Other than that, this is a good card. Staff of the Week. Yeah, this is good for building a specific deck based on this card. Asteroid Belt. Fortified Gates. And this is the pack art, which I'm very happy with. We got Zorm Gadur. A card by Arcanus Games that won the contest too. Um, I actually redid the background because I liked this card so much. Zwaileth. Changed its ability slightly, but still a good card. And that is all the cards in set 2. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.